Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a full moon in Libra reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, this full moon is taking place on April 16th and it happens just after the biggest transit of the year, the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, which most agree there's a tremendous amount of potential for spiritual inspiration, but also mass confusion and delusion. This Libra moon is square Pluto, which means we may all need to face some personal or collective shadows. What is no longer productive needs to be take, we need to take a look at and how we can view things from a different angle or from a different perspective. We'll all need to focus at this time and that may be difficult and also have faith. And this Libra full moon is asking us to create more peace beauty and connection in our lives so let's go ahead and get started let's see what messages come through for my dearest gemini's for this full moon in libra now gemini's just a quick reminder that my full moon and my new moon readings are not explicitly about love although they certainly can be and also if these messages resonate i am gonna ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Okay, my dear Geminis, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for this full moon in Libra. We have the Hermit card in reverse, Virgo energy. What you're leaving behind, the lovers. What you're moving towards is the Nine of Cups. What you need to know, the Ace of Wands in reverse. What you need to do, the Ten of Wands. And your final outcome advice energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Overall energy, Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, gems. So for many of you, this is going to be explicitly about a love connection or situation. And what I see going on here is... I'm just going to adjust the camera real quick because I feel like it's so far away. Okay. What I see going on here is that there's one situation that needed to come to an end. Now, it may have already come to an end in the past, but you're moving towards a healthier, happier, more fulfilling beginning. But it is going to require making some tough decisions and releasing some pretty serious burdens. So with the Hermit card in reverse, that's Virgo energy. Many of my gems, it's possible that you are healing from whatever this breakdown or breakup is or was but I feel with the hermit energy you have learned some lessons and you're ready to get back out there okay so clear messages and guidance why is this hermit here the nine of fire in reverse yeah many of my Gemini's you're giving up on a situation that just wasn't working for you so that you can manifest something new and we have the Six of Fire. There may have been a false victory here. I feel there was a lot of conflict, internal conflict, but also conflict with a person or a group of people. And it's time to put that to an end, okay? And I feel many of you already have, but with the Six of Fire in reverse, it's like you weren't getting the recognition or the reward or what you needed out of this past situation. And the Hermit card is telling me you're reflecting on why that is. So there's some powerful soul growth taking place. What you're leaving behind, the lover's energy and the two of air. So you've had to make a very tough decision. But it's after gaining clarity about what is and isn't in alignment with you. And we see the Spellcaster, number eight. So that's Leo energy, the Strength card in reverse. This is something that was dimming your light, Gemini. Um, it is something that has drained you significantly. Um, I do see that there may be some need here for you to do some solar plexus work. And you can do that by meditating on candles or on fire. Um, eating, really paying attention to foods that you're eating that are easy for you to digest. Um, if you can, get out into the sunshine. Um, wearing the color yellow or working with like yellow crystals. Um, and also doing any sort of core strengthening activities. Um, and also just maybe there's a little bit of a detox in order, whether that's a physical or mental emotional detox. But what you're moving towards, Gemini, is the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, expansion, and growth. 
some of my gems you might be a little bit nervous because this is going to require you getting out of your comfort zone. And so with the full card in reverse, Aries energy, some of you are maybe worried about appearing foolish or that you've made some sort of foolish decision. But spirit saying, absolutely not. This is the healthiest, the most aligned way forward. And look at just how happy she is. She's carefree. You're releasing baggage and burdens here. What you need to know, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there could be a situation now for some of you, it's a marriage or a love relationship, but it doesn't have to be. It can be passion for your career, um, for your creative projects. But the Ace of Wands in reverse tells me that um, there's this was divine intervention and something here just wasn't in alignment with you. And, and that's okay to give yourself permission to course correct. Yeah, Ace of Water, because you are opening up that heart chakra after this disappointment. You're working on self-care, self-love, as you go through a very difficult ending and transition. For some of you, this may be a divorce. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. We have a lot of number 10s showing up, but Spirit wants you to know that you are on the healthiest path forward. The Ten of Wands is telling you to let fall what needs to. Also, I feel that you were taking on too many responsibilities here, Gemini. That you were over, that you were that you hit a breaking point, um, or you started to feel like you were being weighed down by the pressure, the responsibility, and the Ten of Earth in reverse. Wow! I mean, Gemini's major, major endings and release with this full moon. That's to be expected because full moons are all about releasing. It is time to move forward. And like I said, some of you, it's a divorce. For some of you, it's quitting a job that you're not in alignment with or you don't agree with. For others, it's moving. But there's a major, major ending coming. And it's not going to be easy. But Spirit's telling you with the Seven of Pentacles, you're prepared. Plan. Take it one step at a time. Don't expect all of these changes to happen at once. But the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of strategy learning from the past, moving forward. And with this Knight of Pentacles, it feels like you're making some serious progress. Your final outcome energy is Yule. Look at that. Endings bring new beginnings. A deep, powerful transformation for my dearest Geminis. And we get karmic justice in reverse. For many of you, um, that's Libra and energy in reverse. Many of you, you were in a situation that just wasn't evenly weighted it was unfair unjust but i feel there's this deep transformation and spirit doesn't want you to focus on what you've lost but focus here gemini on what you are gaining hermit energy again so we see the hermit showing up in reverse now in the upright so what has been lost will be replaced with something new and more in alignment with you gemini but more than anything it's a sense of self it's about trusting I'm seeing that base chakra is going to be vibrating and balanced, like you trusting and believing in, in yourself, you know, having this deep trust and sense of security in who you are and what you've been through, stability and ease, whether you're involved in this relationship or situation, or if you're walking your own path and feeling very at home in your body. But this is a very powerful and very intense ending for my dearest Geminis. Please pay attention to the number sequence 10, 10, 10. That is going to be um, like little nudges from your angels and your guides that you are on the right path here. So we see leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. So it's about getting out of your comfort zone. But look at what you're leaving behind, something that just wasn't working for you, something that was heavy, something that was keeping you from being the highest expression of yourself. We do see that you are calling in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. I feel that whatever the situation is you are a part of, if you are surrounded by people or not, you are alone but around certain people because you weren't in alignment or you weren't with the right energies. But that's all shifting and changing. Many of my Geminis, this to me is, you know, calling in your soul tribe, your collective, maybe even soulmate energy. And we see the crumbling. What are you clinging to? So what you're holding on to the most is probably what needs to be let go of. And I feel this door is opening, but look at what's on the other side. It's paradise. It's happiness. So this is the tower must fall. 
let go of that which you're holding on to the most because you will be rewarded. You will be more than surprised. Break the chain, Gemini. So this could be ancestral patterns that you're releasing, healing. You're definitely healing from this, all of these tens, a very difficult ending. You're expanding through the extremes here, but you're also rewriting the future, Gemini. Because whatever this was, it wasn't good enough. And it wasn't truly in alignment with you. All I can say here, Gemini, is bravo. And thank you for the work that you're doing. Because it ha it's going to inspire and up-level those that you're energetically linked to. This is not easy, what you're doing or what you're going through. But you are breaking a pattern, whether that's a pattern in your relationships or you're healing some ancestral wounding, healing the DNA, which is healing those that come before and those who come after. There's a major paradigm shift here with this power moment. So clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please. The sixth house, establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. So I do see here that there was some something that wasn't built on a strong enough foundation had to come down. And that's the work of the divine. I feel many of my gems, you need to focus on grounding and on the practical details as you sort of go through this confusing, up, you know, uh, emotionally upheaval. I don't I'm trying to think emotionally tumultuous time. And you get house 11. So you have friends, like-minded groups, humanitarian beliefs. But, it, you know, this, this message is coming out a lot for you with soul family, calling in your tribe. So many of you, you're realizing you were running with a pack or you weren't with people that share your vision um, or don't match your frequency. And, and that's going to create a lot of friction for you. And maybe even some self-doubt crept in because of that. But you're making different choices. You're up-leveling and you're going to see that the opportunities and the relationships that come towards you are very different than what you've been experiencing there you are, Gemini, curiosity, intellect, and networking. So I don't know if some of you are ending a job or a relationship, but it's like you are going to be so supported. You're going to see that what you wish for is going to come to you very quickly. And that's by way of friends and family members. Oh, I know somebody or, oh, let me introduce you to someone. But that's because you're making this very intense internal shift. And we get Scorpio energy, intensity, exposing, purging and renewing and we see that here coming out a number of times that you're going through this deep transformation gemini but you're calling in a different caliber person relationships situations so it's time to let go and we get aries energy to be independent to be brave um, to go after your passions and for some of my gems that may require you to do that on your own but spirit is supporting you and I feel that there's a lot of 3D support here for you as well to break these patterns to break the chains of bondage whatever that means for you gems all right so this has not been easy so those of you resonating with this reading I'm sending you lots of love and light because I can see this is some pretty intense energy you're dealing with so you get Benzai Benzai Jen I think beauty Number six, so recognizing the beauty in all of your experiences. But I also feel gems you, as a result of the inner work that you're doing, your, your, your energy, people are going to see, be seeing this glow up, this shift, this change in you. And Hestia, home. Yeah, coming home to yourself. I also feel with all of this energy of like friends and soul tribe and um, networking, many of you, you're just going to be you're going to feel so much more at peace and at home. Remember I was saying that base chakra energy, um, having this deep trust and sense of security within yourself is going to call in people who also trust you and that you trust and that reciprocate. It's just a beautiful energy. 22 is the master builder number. So something, a powerful foundation is being built here as you go through this deep healing, Gemini. Trust your intuition, even if you're not so sure about the path forward. It's time to be independent. It's time to be brave. It's time to go after your passions. And Hecate says that you may be feeling like you're a little bit in that in-between. And I get that. I get that because you're in this transitional period of leaving this difficult past, this karmic cycle behind, so that something new can begin. 
It's a healthy, beautiful, much more balanced new beginning for you, Gemini. So embrace it. Get out of your comfort zone. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you, hit, that you like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, gems, take care.